I have had my eyes open for other projects for a while. Okay, Celia, Frank. Hi. Hi. Hello. I was looking on your MySpace on the influencers list and I think I didn't see the gathering there. You didn't? No. Did, uh, was it there? Yeah, yeah. I, just, uh, I just updated it when it was official. Or maybe a little bit later. Yeah. Did you know already the band before you were asked or auditions? Yeah, yeah. Of course. What do you think of it? Good, very good band, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I thought it was rubbish. <laughs> I'd be a bit crap. Um. I figures. <laughs> <laughs> and did you already know uh, her band? To be honest, no. no. What? Uh, sorry, very sorry about that. <laughs> no. But the, the, uh, because you auditioned, you had uh, on the internet, you auditioned. Yeah. Uh, you may, uh, was there some sort of how did that go? Did you receive tapes, uh, videos? No, no, we just did uh, actually an internet audition, which means people can upload their uh, own demo or mp3 or any experience with vocals to our Gmail. And as you know, Gmail has quite an amount of, of, of space to space storage, so it was actually quite easy. And uh, yeah, almost 300 people reacted on that. We got almost 300 demos, you know, from vocalists. So. That, that how, that's how it worked. And how did you find out about this uh, audition? I read Blabbermouth. Do you know that? Yeah. I heard of it, yes? Yeah. <laughs> I read it quite often, actually. <laughs> okay, but what did you prepare? Because you, you, you obviously knew the gathering, and was it so, so, so like a sort of thing, well, I have to do this, or did you have to think about it a little bit before you...? Uh, no, I was... Um, Octavia, my, my old band, wasn't very busy at the time and I was kind of really keen on doing some more music and I have had my eyes open for other projects for a while. So I, um, I saw this and I thought, I'll send them some songs and I did. But did you send in all the recordings or you, you did something new? No, just not so I sent uh, I think three, two Octavia songs and uh, yeah. And was, is it some sort of selection process or was Celia, when you heard it, you thought well, this is really what we're looking for or did you have a lot of things yeah, to pick from? I think when we heard her voice, was really, it has this kind of, um, how do I explain this? Uh, for us it had, of course she is from the metal side, which obviously we're not really looking for. We didn't want to have a typical metal vocalist. But with her voice, it was more like, yeah, there's more into it, you know, a more a deeper kind of thing, which can be, be more wider, in a wider range of spectrum of fo vocals. And um, yeah, Octave Spirati, they also had some more uh, mellow songs, and uh, you could hear her voice even better on, on YouTube, uh, some songs we saw on YouTube. I feel like, yeah, this really sound really good, like, let's invite her, you know, or send her a song, that's what we did. Because yeah. to go a little bit back in time, when, uh, when Annika lived at the band, yeah. obviously it was a, a knockdown, I think, for uh, yeah, a band uh, to the, uh, lose their uh, front uh, singer. Yeah. Did you maybe, after a while, can you maybe describe the, the, the feeling, the common feeling that the band had that time? Well, it wasn't, wasn't really great news <laughs> when she announced this, you know, it was like, yeah, she had, she had doubts before already, uh, I have to say. Uh, a few times before, like, yeah, I don't know how to do this anymore, you know, and if, if it's still the connection, you know, do we still connect? And uh, we always try to do things to make, to make it her as easy as possible with all the other activities she had in her life. And, um, well, in the end was just, uh, it's just she made a decision, well, that's it, I want to wanna carry on with my own band. And that, that's what, what the decision was. And for us it was really like, yeah, what are we going to do now? Because it's not nothing, you know. We lose really something, a front, a front uh, person in the band. And that was, yeah. It was quite a, it was not a shock. For us it was not a big surprise. But it was really like, yeah, now we have to decide what we're going to do. And we just decided to, to carry on. But did you maybe, after the shock was uh, dimmed a little bit, did you have start maybe as a new fresh start to maybe start yeah. something whole new? Yeah, that, that was also the big inspiration. 
And of course, that doesn't come out of the blue as well. You have to wait for also for people to to help you, like like the demos, all the demos we got from people. You know, the, that, that gives also a bit more perspective. Especially when you, you meet somebody like Silly, then for us it's really like clear, yeah, we can maybe do something with this.